Hi guys. In this video, we discuss about operators. In Python, we have seven types of operators in Python. Those are arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators, identity operators, membership operators, bitwise operators. We will discuss about these operators briefly in next lectures. In this lecture, we discuss only arithmetic operators. Okay. First of all, what is operator? Operator are used to perform operations on variables and values. So, for performing any operations on where uh, operations on variables, you must require two variables. You must require two variables or more to perform any operation. So, first we discuss about uh, arithmetic operators. What is arithmetic operator? This arithmetic operators, as you know, that the arithmetic operators are used with numeric values to perform common mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponential, flow design. I will show you each and every example how we have to use this plus minus into division, modulus, um, exponential, flow division. Okay. First of all, let's declare a equals to just take 10 and b equals to 5. Okay. For your understanding purpose. Next, print a plus b. Next, print a minus b. Print your star b. Press multiple question. Print a divided by b. Division. Next. Print a modulus b. Next print a star star. It means that it's exponential. In further videos, I'll tell you about how to use mathematic math module so that you can understand easily. Print flow division. C. Here, let's see what is a plus b. We get 15 here. We we'll get 15. Next, what do you get here? We we'll get 10 here. 10. Next, what do you get here? Next, we we'll get um, 10 into 5, 50. We'll get here. Next, we'll get 2 here. A modulus b. How much you get? Here, yeah, more, more or less operation means we get here reminder, not the quotient value. Here we get reminder, only reminder, not quotient value. We we'll get zero here. We get zero. And a yeah, star star means a yeah, power 10 power for its uh, value is this is you get. Next, a yeah, flow design B means here you will get only quotient. Quotient also in the form of only integer, not a uh, float. So, how much you will get here? 2. Let us see the output. What oh, you get? What? See. 15, 10, 50. Okay, so it's 2.4, so 2.0, it's 0, it's 0. 10,000, next 2. I think you understand this uh, arithmetic operators. These are uh, operators we use com daily, uh, just use for common purpose. And these arithmetic operators are used with the numerical values to perform common mathematical operations. Okay. Also, next video we will discuss about uh, assignment operators and different type of assignment operators. Next video we will discuss. I think you understand the automatic operators perfectly. Okay. okay thank you. Everyone. If you like this video, please subscribe and please share to your friends.
in this video we discuss about assignment operators you know right assignment operators in previous video we discussed about arithmetic operators now we discuss about assignment operators assignment operators are, are the operators used to assign values to the variables the main purpose of assignment operators is to assign a values to the variables that's all okay here are some on um, the assignment operators equals to plus equals to minus equals to star equals to division equals to modulus modulus equals to division equals to c or uh, many assignment operators i'll show you some of the examples so that you can understand easily first you see these operators yes next go for the push purpose let's see assignment operators of story k equals to 5 So I'm printing this. Three. Okay. Let us see what it will output. You get five. That's five. Stay with it. Yes. See five. Next. Then. Plus equals to. If you a plus equals to five means, what does it mean? Means a equals to a plus five. It indicates like this. So you will get here ten. Sorry, no, it's not back right here. So I'll declare the name first file. So other was three. Okay. Now you will get three plus five equals to eight. Eight. You will get eight. See. Like this, you have to perform these all operations. See what you get here. You'll get here two. See two. A minus equals three means it indicates that A equals to A minus three. So these are all. Things you see, I have given example here. Minus equals to means a minus equals to a equals to a minus three. A star equals three means a equals to a star three. A divided three equals to a equals to a divided by three. A minus three equals to a equals to a minus three. No no division equals three. A equals to a no division three. See, I have given the detail explanation. This example nobody can use it like this detail explanation. So if you execute this, you get the output perfectly. So understand the concept. Concept. Next, if example, I will remove this. Take x equals to five. Next, I want to print. Now, directly print. X equals x star. Equals to five. What you will get here? What you will get twenty five. Let's check. See where is it? Sorry. It's not working. No problem. Can you please? Equals to star equals to three. We get what is what no 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 plus there is no problem on that here. Fifteen is it? Otherwise, if we keep here five, 
will get notified. Directly. That means here directly I am multiplying like uh, x equals to x into 5. What is the before x value? 5. 5 into 5, 25. I think you will understand the concept. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please share with your friends. Thank you. And enjoy. Next video, we will discuss about comparison of friends. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Hey guys, this video we will discuss about comparison of others. In the previous video, we will discuss about the automatic approach and assignment operator. We will discuss about comparison of others. So, now what is comparison operator? Comparison operators are used to compare two values or variables. See here, uh, we, have, we have some comparison operators equal to equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to these operators are mainly used in if conditions if and if else conditions for flows and everywhere these two operators are useful i'll show you some examples these operators always written boolean values either true or false in 10 equal to equal to 5 Let's see what you get output. We'll delete the previous output. Let's see the C calls. 10 equal to equal to 5. No, right? So I just have to keep your 10. C is 2. 10 equal to 2. Yes, it's 2. So it is C. It always, these comparison operators always enters. Boolean values only two are there, either true or false. Next, let's see print ten not equal to five. Yes, it is ten is not equal to five. Let's check ten greater than five. Print five less than equals to ten. Yes, print 5 greater than equals to 10, print 10 less than or equals to 5. So, just if you have to understand, just an area you have to be careful where you have to use this not equals to. See, it is simple, and this is not is equals to greater than. And I'll show you the lesson how to use it. Then less than five. See, not equals to greater than less than less than equals to greater than equals to less than equals to. You understand it? It's logic. So let's see the output to what we get here. Sorry. And delete a previous output. And so now carefully. See, 10 equal equals to true. 10 not equals to 5. True. 10 greater than 5. Yes, true. Next, 10 less than 5. Obviously, no. False. 5 less than equals to 10. Obviously, true. Correct. 5 greater than equals to 10. See, false. 10 less than equals to 5. False. I think you understood this comparison of this. This mainly these operators are used in uh, if conditions, loops, and elif, uh, elif conditions. There are many, many where you can use these all loop operators. Okay, so like this video, please subscribe, please share your friends. Thank you, have a nice day. Hi guys, in this video we discuss about logical operators. In the previous videos we discussed about the arithmetic operators, assignment operators. Comparison operators. Now, in this video, we discuss about logical operators. First of all, what is this logical operators? These are also operators are used to combine conditional statements. Conditions to this are nothing but like a greater than b and a less than b. Okay, this is a conditional statement. I'll show you these statements. You will understand when you go to the conditions, elif condition. Okay. This next next other videos I will discuss about those those also. Let us understand what is logical operators. 
we mainly will have three operators. One is and. This is keyword. See, and is a keyword. Next one is or is a keyword. Third one is not is a keyword. Not is a keyword. Okay. These three are we using these three operators. You are used to combine conditional statements. Okay. See and. What is and in the, if if both the statements are true, then it returns true in an in an operation. Okay. In an R operator, if both the statements are false, then it returns false. If any one of the any one of the statement is true, then it returns true in R operator. Okay. Not not operator means if the condition is true, then it always produces false. If the condition is false, it returns true. So opposite. Okay. See here example and returns are true if both statements are true. Understand? A less than B and A less A less than that. We instead A will something. Okay. Returns are true if one of the statement is true. A less than five or A less than four. In R in R, if both the statements are false, then it returns false. Not operator. Not logical operator. In not logical operator, reverse the results. Written false. If the result is true, if the result written false, if the result is true. Understand? Okay. Now we we'll discuss about some examples about this logic operators. Okay. Just to initialize. For example, I will take initialize a equals to five, so a equals to three. Then print. A less than B. See how I'm using and. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A less than five. And A less than ten. Let us see the output word. I think you should get two. Then delete the previous output. You will get two answer. Both the statements are true. See, three less than five is true, and three less than ten is true. Then it's true. Or otherwise, if you keep here a value as seven, then it returns false. Both the statements are true. Then it returns true. If if any one of the statement is false, then it returns false. See false. Do you understand the logical operator? Logical operator and is to go for or operator. Next, a equals to seven. Next, I'll print a less than five or a less than ten. Is this different? I said you're right. Sorry. See, if any one of the statement is true, then it then it returns true. If any one of the statement is sorry, if any one of the statement is false, then it returns true. If both are false, it returns false. I think you understand once again. Take it. Any one of the statement is false. If the statement is false, then the statement is true. Then it then it returns true. It returns always false when both the statements are false. I think you understand the logic. If both the statements are false, then it then it returns false. Otherwise, it then it it, it returns true. Let us execute this. You get true answer. See, I think you understand what I'm what I what I'm saying. Okay, let us go another example. A less than two or A less than five. See, yeah, before A value is seven. Seven less than two, false. Seven less than five, false. So it is false. See, first value written is two. Next total false. Next we use we go for. Not operator.
just to take EA equals to pi. Good. Not of less than ten. See, you ignore it. Pi less than ten is true. So, it should it then what is the use of not of it? It returns. It re it reverses the result. Two. It will be reversed to false. Let's see the output. This is false. Now I'll go for another sample so that you can understand it again. A greater than three. Sorry. A greater than three and A less than ten. So you know we'll get false. Now, if I change it to 7, then you will get false true. See, false true. I think you understand this logic. It's very, very important. This logical operator is in Python and R not. Okay. To understand this video, do share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi, guys. In this video, we discuss about. Uh, identity operators in the previous videos we discussed about the uh, remaining operators in this video we discuss about uh, identity operators this identity operators are used to compare the objects not if they are equal but if they are actually our same object in the same memory location here we have identity operators are divided into two types one is is and e is not see is returns the true the both variables are same object. E is not at least the true. The both variables are not the same object. I'll show the example so that you can understand easily. See. Example to consider to consider A equals to Python. And B equals to Python. Let's now print. Sorry, sir. Print A is B. See, it always returns either true or false. Always it returns Boolean values. Let's save it and you can know what it can. See, A is B. To can replace this is with a equal to equal to b also it will work. Let us see to prove okay. So but they name it as identity operators. Yes. Let's save it and take it. You will get true. Okay. Now what in case Python is okay. Let's use another. Let us use another thing a equals to Python is very easy. Easy. Next b equals to Python is very hard. Let us print using this is and not is of is not of the a. Is B, I think you know, right? Easy, hard, this is different. Let's see the output. We'll get, let's delete the previous out. We'll get false. A is B, no, right? False. Let us use E is not. So now it returns true because both are not same. True. And in stars, you can use a not equals to then it will then it returns true. But they named in their 
it as news story. This is a story about identity of this. I think you understand what I am saying. See, it is not real. If both are same, C A equals to Python is easy. P equals to Python is easy. Just now print it, it will become false because both are same. So false. If it is A is B, then it will be true. Oh, then we can. No, it is. Okay. This is the background story about the uh, entity operators. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice time. Hi guys. In this video, we we'll discuss about Python membership of operators. In the previous video, we discussed about the Python identity operators. Now we are going to discuss about membership operators. As we know that Python membership operators are or these are operators are used to uh, uh, are used to test if a sequence is present in the object or not. See, it is divided into two types. First one is in, next one is not in. These are keywords in Python. And show you the example. What is the use? This in operator returns true if the sequence is present. Not in operator returns false if the sequence is not present in the object. Okay, let us try to understand the example so that you can understand easily. Example, you have text. Examples can understand easily. A equals to Python is very easy. Python is very easy to learn. Syntax is very easy to learn. And syntax is easy to remember. Now I'll take C D equals to Python. Okay, let's take learn. Learn. Now I want to check whether B is in B present in A means learn present in Python is very easy to learn and syntax is easy to learn. Remember, let's check. Print C relation carefully P e, e, in A is it it returns always boolean values either true or false let us see the output complete the previous output P e in A yes P or true learn present in Python is very easy to learn so it is present here so it is true if I keep uh, Java. It written false because Java is not present in Python is easy, very easy to learn and syntax is strange, easy to remember. No, it's not there, right? False. So if I keep here not not it, then it returns true. See true. It's simple logic. If you understand this logic. Can understand the concept of membership operators in not in if particular object is present in the given object, then it is true. If it is not present, then it is false. Okay, it is true because a sequence with the value Java is present in that A. Understand right? If Java is present, then it, then it returns false. Java is present there, then it returns true. If it's not present, then it is false. Oh, see here. In and not in operators. Print P in A. Let's see the output of the 
let us create the previous out you can understand easily see java not in a yes true next java in a no right so it is false this is about the, the story about this membership operators next video we discuss about the uh, bitwise operators so that you can understand easily about the uh, all operators in python if you like this video please subscribe please share to your friends thank you have a nice day